Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. So if you are new here, my channel is mainly focused more so on tarot, but it's also to inspiration, motivation, spirituality, and also to lifestyle content. So if you are interested in those topics, then feel free to subscribe to this channel. Make sure you turn on your notification bell as well because I wouldn't want you to miss any uploads from me, okay? So today I'm using my, um, I was about to say my Daily Vibes Oracle deck, but this is a love oracle deck that I created. So it's not available to everyone right now but it's called the unconventional love oracle deck so we will be using these cards today to receive some messages for you capricorn in regards to your love life if you are interested in a personal read that is done in video format from me um you can definitely check the description box below for my information on how to do so you can use the link to my website or you can just simply email me to reach out for a read and i will respond back so if you are interested as well in my gratitude journals, I did create three gratitude journals that are now available on Amazon.com right now. Just check the comment section. They'll be pinned as a comment. So yeah, you can check those out if you are wanting to. All right, let's get into the read. Let's see what's going on here with Capricorns, okay? What messages do you have for Capricorns? For November what I may mention in the read could have already happened for someone it could be currently going on or it could happen to someone at a later date so just keep that in mind what messages do you have for Capricorn for November thank you so we got little black book y'all this card is showing up a lot and also to this card leftovers I don't know what's going on with the collective you guys but <laughs> these two cards have definitely been showing up in the love read so we got little black book so for some of y'all you could definitely um it's like you could definitely have some backup with this little black book if you know what that is then you know if you know you know what messages do you have for capricorn for november Whoever this is that you could be connected to Capricorn. Now, this could also be your energy as well, y'all. Um, the cards do not discriminate. Okay, so you could have ghosted this person or this person has, has ghosted you. So I do see where there could have also been dry communication as well between you and another individual. So it could have been like dry communication or no communication at all. So, but I do feel like, you know, there could still be some contact as well. Like you could definitely, like if you really wanted to contact the person, you could, because it looks like their number is still saved in your phone. What messages do you have for Capricorn for November? Wow, we got love triangle that showed up. Wow. So either you, Cap, this was on, this is what I'm picking up intuitively, y'all. So whoever this person is, now either you or them, Capricorn, it's kind of like they could have had you in a third party situation. Like there was a love triangle. There was three people involved. Um, not really sure who ghosted who, but I do feel like maybe there's like a sense of like someone realizing that like someone was a keeper. We got a keeper. It's like you should have locked that down or they should have locked you down. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I do feel like there's like a sense of someone also too, like the energy was not being reciprocated equal, equally because there could have been a third party. It's like maybe somebody was confused. They didn't know what they wanted. And also too, it's like they could have just, you know, had other options as well. Give me one more for Capricorn for November. Wow, whoever this person is, they could definitely be a past energy here. We got blast from the past. I'm not taking all these cards, but we do have trust broken that showed up. They not, they ain't loyal. So whoever that is, I do feel like maybe, um, you know, whoever was like the main character in the third party situation, y'all. Whoever was orchestrating the whole third party. Um, yeah, they could be coming back in here. Now they could be wanting to date as well because date night showed up. I'm just pointing that out there, but it does look like you you already um, know their true colors or they already revealed their true colors to you. So y'all read it sound like Scorpio. Y'all could be connected to a Scorpio, but let's see what's going on here. I'm going to see what Little Black Book is. Tell me about Little Black Book for Capricorn. Tell me about Little Black Book for Capricorn. 
Yeah, someone was left out in a cold here, but I do feel like a sense of, um, for some of you guys, yeah, whoever got ghosted, I do see like Sagittarius energy as well. Someone could be wanting to communicate. It could be you or another person, but it does look like someone got left out in a cold here with this five of pentacles showing up here with little black book. Give me one for ghosted for, um, Capricorn. Yeah, five of wands. There was definitely a third party. Wow. Three of swords, five of the five of wands. So yeah, there was some type of conflict here in regards to like a connection between you and another individual. There could have also been like an argument as well. Um, that's what it looks like. Yeah, we got the five of cups that showed up. I was hoping that this card would not show up in y'all read. Because I swear it could show up in every Capricorn read. But let's see. I do feel some form of re regret as well. Because it's like a lot of energy showing up here, y'all. So I do see where we got judgment that showed up. So it does like a past energy resurfacing with judgment. Use your intuition, Capricorn, because there was definitely a third party situation here with in the situation. And I do feel like a sense of like someone misses the other person, y'all. Because remember my card keeper, I showed that. It's like now they someone realized that, you know, Capricorn was a keeper. Let's see. Tell me about love triangle. Yeah, so the three of swords. So it does look like you were in a third party situation, Capricorn. But it's, it is saying to Capricorn that this situation here is like a hidden blessing behind this. It's kind of like a, it's a blessing that this person actually ghosted you, y'all. Like, um, and I do feel some form of like rejection as well as like maybe you do feel rejected, but the King of Pentacles showed up here at the bottom. So someone could be dealing with another earth sign as a will, but it's just letting me know that like possibly like a Capricorn was in a third party situation. It does seem like this situation could have definitely hurt you as well. Tell me more about love triangle, but somebody wants to reconcile. Tell me about, yeah. So the six of pence, I mean, not six of pentacles, excuse me. The six of cups showed up. So it's like two cards indicating, actually three cards indicating that um, a past energy here. I do feel like um, this person misses the times that you guys did spend together, y'all, before they could have found out that, um, I mean, before you could have found out that you were in a third party situation. Tell me about blast from the past. Wow, we got the Queen of Cups that showed up. So someone could be connected to a water sign here. Could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. I do see like Scorpio energy um, as well. So let's see. Give me one more for Blast from the Past for um, Capricorn. Yeah, four of wands. Somebody wants to, um, to reconcile here. But it's almost like they see, like you could definitely see um, marriage or commitment with this person. Now the roles could definitely be reversed here as well, but I do see like a form of like a separation as well between you and another individual. Yeah, they're wanting to give back into um, this connection, but I do feel like Capricorn, you could definitely have other options as well. But for some of you guys, you could definitely be in a space in your love life where it's like you're needing to make a choice. Like, do you want to reconcile with this past energy that had you in a third party that ghosted you? Or do you want to go into a new direction here with judgment? Because I feel like someone's still healing from this situation. I feel like, you know, by you being in a third party with someone or like finding out that someone had you in a third party could have definitely been shocking. And um, I do see where someone's still like recovering, like recuperating from being in that situation, y'all. Because it's like somebody definitely got left out in the cold here. Wow. Give me one. Oh, wow. So the page of swords wanted to flip over. So, yeah, whoever you had any with Capricorn, they spying. They low key watching. We got the page of swords, but it looks like too they're going to be speaking out. I do see communication coming in. It's like whoever, um, the only way I can tell you, like, how this would be for you is this person's number 
is still in your phone or your number is still in their phone because like you could have deleted the contact maybe you ain't heard from them in a while but yeah they still have like your contact number so yeah that's what it is tell me about ghosted here and you guys could have definitely had deep conversations too it's like the vibes could have been there too but then it's like they could have just had their options open Tell me, give me one more for um for ghosted for Capricorn. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles showed up. Someone's coming in here to communicate, and I do feel like they could be wanting to fix what happened. It's almost like they maybe they want like a restart or like a redo, because I'm not really sure how long you've been knowing the person, but it's definitely like a past energy. Give me one more for ghosted. I just need to get one more. Give me one more for ghosted. Yeah, the tower. So you could have definitely found out that they were dealing with another person here. With this showing up. I feel like once you found out or like once someone found out that there was somebody else, y'all, they was like out of there like a ghost, like Casper. <laughs> they was out of there. Tell me about a love triangle. So we got the Ten of Cups. This could have definitely been a family situation here with this Ten of Cups showing up. Tell me about a love triangle. Yeah, so we got the Death card. Somebody wants to, um, whoever you had an ending with or whoever you broke up with, Capricorn, they are definitely wants to heal this situation, y'all. This could definitely be, um, I do see like a healing, a family issue. Um, here for someone now this doesn't mean that you had a child with the person y'all whoever the third party was it could have been a child or the mother or father or someone's child basically that's what it looks like but yeah we got the star card that showed up whoever this is y'all I do feel like maybe they have faith um in this connection but also too it seems like they could be wanting to heal what happened um, I do see too, well, I'm hearing that they want a, like, now it's like they want a future with the Capricorn. That's what it seems like. Because remember, they realize that you're a keeper. Or maybe you realize that someone's a keeper. So you could definitely see, like, yourself, you know, in a family situation with this person. That's what it seems like. So let's pull some additional cards for y'all. What messages do you have for a Capricorn? What messages do you have for Capricorn? So we got endless abundance that showed up here. So I do feel like, well, since it's coming out in like a love read, y'all, um, this could also be in regards to someone's like work or career with this endless abundance. But it's just letting you know that like there's no limit on your abundance, Capricorn. So whether it be like in your work, career, life or whatever. And also to love, especially like you've been in a third party situation, like you've been hurt, you healing. Look, we got res resolution and healing. So it's letting you know that. I feel like it's telling you to, like, to trust the process as well in regards to like um, healing an issue. But it does seem like there's going to be like um, a peaceful resolution here to a situation if you and another person are willing to compromise. Give me another one for a Capricorn. I feel like someone's child was like a third party, y'all. Or like the fact that someone has like a family was like a third party. That's what it seemed like. Give me another one for a Capricorn. Wow, so we got to visualize, affirm, and manifest. For some of y'all, you could definitely be needing to um, say some affirmations here. Like, and it's saying to have faith as well about the future of your love life. Like, don't get, um, kind of just focus more so like on the here and now, y'all. Because sometimes it's either we are focusing on the past or worrying about the future. It's like, focus here right now. Um, especially if you're single, single. It's just like, be, like, um, grateful for right here, right now. Whether you're single or in a relationship. Or even in a third party situation. It's like, you just gonna learn from whatever that situation is. Give me another one for... 
Capricorn. So we got study and learning that showed up as well. So I do feel like, um, cause the 10 of swords kept showing up in y'all read. It's like, you definitely learn, um, a lesson here in regards to like this past energy. So I do see where you, you could definitely be wanting to head into a new direction. Like you want some new energy, new love. So yeah, that's what it looks like here. So definitely, um, listen to your intuition Capricorn about what, what, um, what you need to do. Cause it does look like you have a choice. So yeah, for some of y'all, you could definitely have your options open, but just um, realize your worth as well. Because you could definitely still have some feelings for this person. Because I feel like whoever this person is for someone, whoever you ghost it, whoever goes to you, you still feel some type of way about them. So um, I'm going to leave the read here. I hope that it was helpful to you guys. Of course, you can leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful or insightful. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe as well.